relationship. So this evening is a culmination of a lot of different efforts from all persons involved in this room. I'm very proud to be here. I'm very proud also to uh, stop talking and give the microphone over to the Honorable Sam Quinn, whom I met as council president uh, several years ago when I started working for the borough. And Sam is going to administer the oath of office uh, to our mayor-elect, Ms. Andrea Doyle. So please welcome her.
Councilman-elect Jim Nixon. Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth. 
members, our tax collector, residents of Narborough, Mr. Metric, our borough manager, and welcome guests. I rise to nominate our neighbor from the great 100 block of Conway Avenue, <laughs> a council vice president for six years, a council president for two, volunteer fireman, and king of potty world. <laughs> I nominate Mr. Aaron Muderick to serve as our president for the 61st session of the Narborough Borough Council. Uh, a motion has been made to nominate Council Munich uh, as well, the council, council, uh, council President. Um, may we have uh, a vote? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Uh, as the motion carries. Mayor Deutsch. Again. <laughs> Thank you again, Madam Mayor. I rise to nominate our na neighbor from the beautiful 200 block of Wayne Avenue, the only block of Wayne Avenue, <laughs> a counselor who has demonstrated her ability to make our government work. I nominate Ms. Gigi Tevler Moffat to serve as our vice president for the 61st session of the Library Council. Such a motion being made.
you all. Uh, I have one small, or actually we should take a public comment. If anyone would like to make a public comment, this is your opportunity. Seeing none. Oh, what? Hi. Anything? I'm sorry? I don't know about what. Uh, you, you can make a public comment on anything. This is a public meeting. Oh. <laughs> Just, uh, if you could, state your name and address. Hi, Sherry uh, Woods on Buffalo Conway Avenue. I have um, started to go, besides, I'm having some meeting issues, so let me know, but I started with Go Green Group here in Harbor. And the idea of that is to um, make it maybe the first, the very first, like, all green borough, meaning, like, um, no pesticides, no chemicals, um, because I know there's a lot of people spraying on their lawns, um, certain things that they may not be aware of this that's all going into, you know, our drinking water mm -hmm. environment. So um, I'm really big and pro environment and against um, chemicals in general. And I've done extensive, extensive research. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I believe that a pesticide causes me to get breast cancer. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of like my mission, you know, and one of the reasons, in fact, I moved here is because it is a small borough and a good place to kind of get people on board with that. Um, I actually started a concert for the Global Village, and uh, we had the first one last summer down here at the um, Little Rotunda um, with some musicians. So I hope to have another one of those, possibly on Earth Day, and um, if anyone wants to know any more about any
economic development. So that this council, now seated, has the ability to make decisions, not just ask for information. <coughs> we have established a heritage preservation board to help secure the unique architecture and look and feel of our town. We reorganized our rec board so that they could be more active, more empowered to make decisions. And we began an entire comprehensive plan for the borough with the Montgomery County Planning Commission and citizens from this town. Many of these are foundational changes that built upon the restructuring that was done in the year prior. And as more foundation stones are laid, I expect they will be an enabling force to unlock additional changes of greater scale that will ripple through the government as well as all of our allied organizations, Fourth of July, Fire Company, the Athletic Association, etc. None of this would be possible without our professional staff. They work hard every day, juggling a multitude of roles. In my business life, I have seen employees struggle tremendously trying to balance strategy, long-term planning, daily execution, and operational management of the moment, bringing it all to bear every single day. Each requires very different skills and has have very different demands on time. An eight-hour day can easily seem like eight minutes. All of those are necessary to have a successful government. And very few individuals excel at all three. That's where teamwork becomes key. We are very blessed here in the borough that we have that teamwork in our office, that not only do they bring skills that they've honed from their prior experience, but they know how to work together to make an effective team that multiplies the efforts to make them greater, the sum greater than the whole. I know that this council and the office share a common goal to develop the borough's management and its government governance to be best in class. That is what we expect and that is what we strive for. By doing that, we will be more nimble, more responsive, more inclusive of volunteers, more fostering of a volunteer culture, taking advantage of technology to allow a small borough to offer services and programs like a big organization, and to be more accountable and data-driven in our daily operations, and always to be doing long-term planning so the future never catches us by surprise. There are a number of immediate goals that the administration and I put to council in 2018. We have to hire new police officers. We need to find a candidate for the position of chief of police. We have an emergency management plan to update, and we need to negotiate a new police contract. We need to finalize work that started in 17 with the establishment of user agreements for all of our public spaces. Who can use it? What are the rules? How much does it cost? How do I go about renting a space? We need to update our HR policies and our handbook to bring us in line with 21st century organizations. We need to develop clear expectations for funding requests that come to the government for nonprofits. Where do we fit into their funding picture? We need to purchase AV equipment to improve the audio and video recording of our meetings. <laughs> I know that many of you are tired of the, the bullet mics where we're all popping our peas all night long and you're listening very patiently. I know that each counselor brings its own, their own goals and dreams of making a Narbert place to this better, of make, making Narbert a better place to this role. And to that end, there are six standing committees of council. That allows each council member, aside from the president, to serve as a chair, a vice chair, and a member on each committee. The council committee assignments will be as follows. Public safety, chair, counselor Tevlin Moffitt. Vice chair, counselor Cindy Rickards. Member, Bob Weisbord. Building and zoning, chair, Bob Weisbord. Vice chair, Michelle Pananopoulos. Uh, the member slot is currently empty following the acceptance of Councilor Richmond's resignation. Finance and Administration Chair, Jim Nixon. Vice Chair, Gigi Tevlin Moffat. Member, Michelle Pananopoulos. Public Works Chair, Cindy Rickards. Vice Chair position currently empty. Member, Gigi Tevlin Moffat. <coughs> Property Chair, Michelle Pananopoulos. Vice Chair, Bob Weisbord and member Jim Nixon. Economic development, the chair is currently empty. Vice chair and Jim, I hope you will act 
to fill the role until such a replacement can be found, Jim Nixon, member Cindy Rickards. Additionally, after a few years of quiet, it is anticipated that in 2018, the Narberth Bridge Project will reawaken and require work to make the final selections for public art. I'll hold that clap. Do you remember when we, when we started the bridge project in what year? 1990-something. It's almost 20 years that we've been imminently replacing this bridge. That's what happens when you work with Amtrak and Pandora. <laughs> the federal government, it takes time. Anyway, the Ad Hoc Narber Avenue Bridge Committee will be reactivated. It will be chaired by Bob Weisbord, who brings a long history um, and experience to those matters. The remaining two members of that committee will be decided following the appointment of uh, the empty council position. I think that's the best way to manage it. I look forward to 2018 and the positive change that it will bring to this town. We sit here as council members at this table with the drape but in reality, we are your neighbors. We're just like you. We're accessible, we are interested in all of your thoughts, and we are excited to be a part of this world government at an exciting time. Thank you all for your support. Now we can move to 10A. Motion to appoint the following positions in the borough. Can I get a motion? I so move. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, borough Engineer Pannoni, Borough Solicitor, Hamburg Rubin, Maxwell, Mullen, and Lupin. Uh, borough Building Inspector, Zoning Officer, Code Enforcement Officer, Yerkes Associates, and Borough Traffic Engineer, McMahon Associates. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None, it's unanimous. Let's move on to 10B. Can I get a motion to consider the mayor's veto of ordinance 1003, the tax levying ordinance? I move. A second. Uh, is there any discussion? By voting yes, you are voting to override the mayor's veto and to accept ordinance 1003, an ordinance for the levying of taxes for the year 2018 relating to the tax rate for the borough of Narberth, the collection of solid waste, and the provision of sewer services. The millage rate shall be 9.710 or $9.71 on each $1,000 of assessed valuation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes. Thank you. We have uh, a budget and we have funds to pay the bills. Are there any other items to come before council this evening? Hearing none. I'll take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting is adjourned. Thank you all.